be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over how to make some hard trap melodies in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I already have some sounds here. I'm using Omnisphere. You can use whatever, you know what I'm saying, you want. But um, what I first want to talk about is like keeping things simple. You feel me? You want to find some sounds that like inspire you and then keep, you know, everything simple. So I'm going to go to the bales. <clears throat> and excuse me, we're going to keep, we're going to do like a simple little bell pattern. Now, uh, if you right click right here, you can push create region and then create a region. And then you can use the step sequencer to create a basic pattern. So right here you have different, you know what I'm saying, keys and everything. I'm gonna start with C sharp. We're gonna go with a minor and then I'm just gonna plug in some notes. So we'll do something simple like that. thing I want to do is just go ahead and right click this and we're going to actually um, bounce it in place turn into an audio file once I do that um, I can pretty much like doctor this uh, up a little bit more I'm gonna come over here and throw this beat breaker plug in on go to the multi effects and then I can come over here and play around with some of this so you can use the presets Rebounce that in place. Hopefully, you know, I'm saying it catches everything. It looks like it did. Let's check it out now. So I messed it up a little bit. The cool thing is, since it's audio, I can come over here and just pretty much put a loop on just the part that works. Push Command R right there. Drag that on over. Now I can go over here and um, join this. Okay, and now we got our first element to our melody. I want to talk about layering, but what I'm going to do is actually layer this a different way. Instead of changing the sound, I'm actually going to use the same audio file. I just push Command D and then push uh, hold down Option and drag this down. And if you push Shift Option up or down, it'll take it up or down an octave. In this case, I'm pushing it up for up an octave. Now we want to add some other elements so when you think about you know creating your melodies one other thing i would suggest is looking at doing three different type of parts one is going to be like a lower spectrum part one for mids and one for high so we kind of already had the mid and the high right here what i'll do now is i'm gonna come to piano and we're going to just kind of create something simple um, like a bass line now this is a you know obviously musical typing push command k and then um since it's in C sharp, we want to go to basically C sharp. In this case, actually, it's going to be F sharp. And again, keeping things simple is always key to this. So I'm only playing two notes. F sharp and D. Come up over here. Just basically quantize that. Force legato, just to make it go to the very end of each part of each note. 
And then this is where we can actually do layering here as well. But this time I'm actually gonna change the uh, sound. So I'm gonna basically push Command D and then highlight or click on this and then hold down Option and drag this down. And now I'm actually gonna come over here and you don't even have to use the same type of instruments. We can go somewhere completely different. Let's go to, um, actually let's just check out and see what we got um, over here with waves. So let's see what this codex is. So pretty much technically we have our low, we have a mid part, and then what I can do here is use like a flute sound or some, some other sound to do like a high. Uh, you know, for the melody. So we're going to just do that. I'm going to turn this flute down just a little bit. Again, keeping everything simple. man we got our our melody um anything else i want to do to this i could pretty much just take uh the time to you know check try different plugins and everything like that but literally this is ready to go so what i could do is just highlight everything bounce bounce it in place and now i got a whole loop right here ready to go <laughs> And if you want, you can also take this now and throw it back into like a, the quick sampler or the sample, al sample alchemy. I'm going to throw it in the quick sampler. And now what I can do is I can reverse this, follow tempo. And so you have crazy different options here. So um, I'm gonna lay this down real quick. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, those are some, some tips here um, on how to make some dope melodies for like trap beats. Make sure you stay tuned, you know what I mean? Make sure you subscribe to the channel for sure. I'm dropping videos and gems as much as I can, man. So, you know, stay in tune. We also have a lot of different other opportunities for you to learn and also grow as a producer. First one is to go to beatmakingbasics.com. Check out my site. We got video courses there that you can download, purchase, and uh, we have royalty-free loop kits. All right, so we got lots of different stuff on there, even some templates. I even have a program called the Be Making Master Program, and basically it's a lifetime program where you'll be able to get all of the kits, um, loops, and uh, courses that I'll drop for life. So you'll get everything on the site currently when you join the program, plus anything that I drop in the future, you'll start getting that for free after you join the program. And then last, what I'm going to also say to do is click into the links in the description and also in the comment section, the ones that's pinned up there, you're going to see a lot of different other options. I have like an affiliate links for different wave plugins that I recommend. Um, and I also have a perks section for YouTube. So say if you don't want to join the actual Be Making Master program that comes with everything for life, you can also join the YouTube perks on my channel and you can get certain videos that you're not going to be able to see um, and just, just a lot of different other cool stuff. So check all that stuff out, man. In the next video, I'm actually going to be cooking this beat up and arranging it and you know, adding drums and stuff like that. So make sure you get stay, uh, stay tuned. All right. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.